All right, so welcome guys to another video and today we are going to take a look at the Nishek X49. So this is really interesting because this is a 1BA kind of configuration and under $20 only. So it's one of the, you know, few under $20 that has a 1BA kind of configuration. And it's definitely interesting because it will give you a different sound on your ear. So we might be seeing maybe a more tight um, kind of bass, a better separation as well. So that's really interesting. And Nishek, a big fan as well here in this channel because we do um, see a lot of good value IEMs from them under $20. Um, the DB3 is one of my favorites uh, and definitely one of my top recommendations. So I'm you know really liking the overall tuning that they have in their IEMs. So this actually has been here for some time. I just have it unboxed it. So yeah, really interesting to check this out. So of course you're getting Nishek at the front. Actually you don't have any portrait of the IEM. And uh, at the back, we have X49, um, single BA, um, 110 dB in terms of the sensitivity, 1.2 meter in cable, and uh, 20 to 90 kHz in frequency range. Plug is 3.5 millimeter gold plated as well. So let's unbox this. And that is the box that you're gonna get. Actually, it's a pretty small box. There you go. It actually has that bullet style to it. It's kind of like a final e E1000 kind of look. So that's definitely a looker for me. Especially, um, you know, under $20, um, that's really cool. It's just the overall build. You have Nishek, putting that aside, and uh, you're getting some accessories. You're getting a clip and also an organizer. Definitely nice for the price range. And here, you're getting additional tips. So the tips is your typical um, tips for that price range. And uh, here, of course, you're getting your IEM itself. And yes, from the get-go, I am liking the look definitely uh looks cool especially for the price that you're paying for so this is the build quality itself it's a bullet style definitely welcome um kind of reminds me of maybe the moon drop um spaceship in a way but uh, this is more of a final e kind of design and the metal in build which is definitely welcome it's cold to the touch so definitely for the price that you paid for really cool in terms of the overall build quality uh, but you are getting more of a Xiaomi style, um, no removable cables in this. So that is one downside. And cable wise also is kind of like that, a mobile style kind of cable. So not your usual removable cable. And also at the plug as well, you have a straight uh, kind of plug. So I would say build quality is kind of like a mobile um, style kind of build quality. So not your usual, maybe Nishik DB3 custom IM kind of design. So definitely a different kind of look on the ear. So yes, um, maybe this is kind of designed for a mobile kind of use, but definitely yes, guys. In terms of the unique selling point, you have a BA here. So that's what we are gonna try to figure out if that's nice. So I'm gonna put it on the ear and gonna have my first wear on the ear and also a first listen as well. All right, so actually on the ear, um, it fits really snug on the ear. So it doesn't have fins, it doesn't have your um, ear hooks, but uh, it does fit nicely on the ear because it does go inside your ear being a bullet style um, kind of IEM. So actually, it's fairly stable, not the most stable, but uh, it does hold in place. I would say not bad overall. In terms of sealing, actually this does seal quite good. So it blocks out most of the noise. So I would say above average. Comfort-wise, these are actually very comfortable to wear because uh, yeah, it's quite breathable on the ear. So maybe you can listen to this for a long listening session. So my only issue is the stability. So definitely your IEMs with fins will be more stable compared to this one. So yes, um, now let's try to have a first um, listen. It may be some Copa Cobana, Barry Manilo. All right, so firstly, um, it's surprising how good the separation is. So definitely that's one advantage of BAs. The separation is really nice. Definitely has some micro detail. So that's another uh, advantage of this. So like for here in this track, for the wind instruments, the saxophones, there's some micro detail. It's not a super aggressive sound as well. It's not the most aggressive um, IEM that I've heard, but it's uh, definitely lively sounding and very tight kind of sound. Definitely, um, this is not a bassy IEM. The bass is really controlled and tight. So let's try another track. Maybe some I Shot the Sheriff, Eric Clapton. So actually the cymbals on top is pretty good in this. And it actually takes some power to drive this, guys. I like the tightness of the overall sound. 
But definitely, yes, the vocals is pretty recessed in the mix. But uh, I like how um, lively the vocals are still. And uh, yeah, really lively sound overall. So this is more on the musical side of presentation. And again, the bass is really controlled in this. So this is more of an enthusiast, I'm kind of listening, enthusiast kind of tuning on the ear. Definitely in that price range, uh, this is really unique in that price range. I haven't heard of this kind of sound on the ear. Really tight bass. Really reminds me of maybe the TRNBA5 in terms of the presentation to the ear. The vocals is not the most revealing that I've heard, so maybe that's one downside. Let's try another track. Maybe some Living on a Prayer. And yes, the detail retrieval is really good, the micro detail. But yes, I'm still, the vocals are still not the most prominent in the mix, so still recessed in the mix. And I really like the, again, musicality in the sound, the tightness in the sound, the micro details there. Yeah, I'm enjoying my lesson so far. I would say in terms of the separation, this kind of punches above its weight in the overall um, sound. Definitely one of the better separations that I've heard in the price range. And here, uh, yeah, definitely the wind instruments and overture. The wind instruments just shines because there's really some micro detail in this. Definitely quite impressed, especially for the price that you're paying for. Let's try some chain smokers um, closer. The stage is, uh, I would say, above average, not the biggest. Um, the instruments is still easy to locate in the mix. Again, the bass is really tight, so this is not for bass heads for sure. But uh, definitely, in terms of the, you know, being an enthusiast kind of listen, this fits the bill. And again, I like the snap in the sound, the tightness, the liveliness. Like the claps here, it feels really upfront, revealing in the mix. It's so actually female vocals are pretty good in this, so it's just the male vocals that I have an issue with the, the positioning. Maybe let's try another track. Maybe let's group Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, definitely the micro detail just shines in this track. Yeah, definitely under... You know, that kind of price range, the micro detail is really good. Yeah, everything is quick, tight. Yeah, it's just the male vocals that I have an issue with. But the rest of the instruments are pretty good. But yes, the, the bass is not that deep in the mix, so this won't be for bass heads. The bass is really tight, but uh, definitely well controlled. Um, it doesn't overpower the rest of the spectrum. Definitely has an uh, enthusiast kind of listen to the ear. Alright, so this is a punch in guys. So we already did the unboxing and uh, we now did some measurements and also listened to it a bit more. And uh, yeah, after listening to it and doing some measurements, so this is the signature that you're gonna get. So actually, it's more of a W um, type of shape uh, with some bass elevation. And actually, um, I was surprised on how much bass elevated this is on the measurements because on the ear, um, it's not this prominent in the ear. Uh, definitely, your dynamic driver counterparts will be more bassy compared to this. This is not your bass heads IEM. So definitely, yes, the bass, uh, the BA type of bass is more uh, kind of toned down in the mix. So this is a different bass compared to maybe your ZSN Pro Xs or maybe your KB or KS1s. So it will be a different um, bass on the ear. So um, measurements wise, so this is uh, what you're going to get. So from the bass region, you're getting that dip to around 800 hertz and looking at the bass definitely elevated in the mix so around 800 hertz region you're getting maybe a slight hump i'm going to around uh, 1 to 2k and then after that it goes down to around 2k and then after that um, you have double horns at the top and usually for um, this kind of configuration i do like usually you know double horns at the top and you're getting the 3k peak and after that it goes down to around 6 to 7k and then after that, it goes up to around 10K. So you do have air frequencies in this. So again, uh, which makes it more musical, lively to listen to. And then after that, it goes down. And what I really like about this is even if you have, you know, peaks on top, it doesn't sound, you know, that peaky to listen to. Definitely compared to the other BAs that I've heard, um, the 10K peak there is more prominent in the mix. So this is not like that here. This is still controlled. Yeah, a really interesting tuning by um, Nyshek. Maybe kind of reminds me also of maybe the Nyshek DB3 in terms of the overall tuning. Um, you know, the Nyshek DB3 also has, um, you know, air frequency uh available for us to listen to um but the, the nashic db3 also has some warmth at the bottom so it has some similarities with the db3 in terms of the overall tuning um but uh, definitely there's a more tight sound in the nashic x49 so still after doing some measurements and also um you know listening to it a bit more i'm still quite happy with the overall listen um just one gripe is the male vocals is still you know not the most revealing um, in the mix so that's one downside but definitely you know really happy with the overall listen in these so let's get back to the unboxing all right so let's uh try to close this thing so yes this uh still not a review but more first impressions but definitely for the price that you're paying for i'm really impressed with this um so 
uh, that's you know what I really like about IEMs. You have a unique selling point. And I haven't tried a 1BA kind of configuration for under $20. I believe this are uh, maybe around $17, $15, and depending on where you're going to get it. And for that kind of price, um, this is the first that I've heard this kind of configuration, a BA kind of configuration. So definitely, I did like the separation, the tightness in the base. It's more of an enthusiast kind of listen. So um, this is not your bassy type of listen. The bass is well controlled. The separation is nice. Um, the whole instrument is fairly revealing. It has um, some snap to it, some liveliness in the sound that your BA gives. And you're also getting um, nicely built um, you know, loops as well. So definitely as for the price you're paying for, um, this is really impressive for me. I did really enjoy my initial listen. So definitely if you're looking for you know, an IEM to complement your other IEMs, uh, maybe you have a hybrid configuration already, maybe you have a, a dynamic driver configuration already. Um, so this might be a unique thing to add in your kit because this is an all PA kind of setup and it will be a different sound on the ear. It will give you, you know, a better separation, tighter bass compared to your other IEM, especially if you're a $20 collector, um, this might be good to add in your list. That's my look in the X14.9. If you learned something, of course, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'm going to see you guys in the next Deep Old Review. Goodbye. <music>